We're going to bring Effie back up because she's going to tell us about a new book, I guess, that's been launched and talking about loving fast future blurs. Thank you, Philip. Thank you, Spandana. And, and I'm go not going to start by telling you who I am, but rather by telling you what I'm passionate about, and that is what opportunities are there for business leaders, especially those that are interested in shaping our future, in an environment that is increasingly complex. And I don't think that I have to spend a lot of time convincing you that complexity I is rising in this era that we are uh, living. Just to also, I don't think that I need to convince you that we are at a time that is really very transformative. The technologies of the fourth industrial revolution, technologies that have been recognized by the World Economic Forum, are transforming, and actually this time really fast, the way we live, the way we work, the way we earn our livelihood, something very fundamental, and the, even the way we communicate, not only at work, all day. So. Again, there's no disagreement that we are in a, in a phase of rapid development. And how is that happening? It's happening because of advanced technologies. We've spoken about, about AI, there's IoT, there's blockchain, there's the metaverse, there's augmented and virtual reality, all these technologies. And there are socioeconomic trends too, like the future of work, the future of mobility, and other trends. And they're all sort of interconnecting, they are interplaced, and these interplays are recognized, some talk about convergence of technologies. What I am interested in, where I think there's a lot of opportunity for the business leaders of the future, is at what we call blurs. And you're all familiar with certain blurs. Let me give you an example. So you're, you're familiar with industry blurs. You know, industry, their boundaries have been blurring over the last decade. Examples, many. You know, you have the hospitality industry and it's blurring with the health industry. We have health tourism. You have markets, financial industry, blurring with retail industry. We, the trend of embedded finance, where you're embedding financial services in other industries, in cars, in, in commerce, is another blur. We have heavy manufacturing sectors that are blurring and are becoming service providers. They have SaaS offerings, and the blurring of the industries is here and will continue. We have other blurrings. We have blurrings of physical and digital. Those we, we are starting to see in work. We've seen it in commerce, physical and digital, in education, and it goes on and on. What I'm interested is that there are blurs, potential blurs, emerging blurs, that are not so recognized. Because of this complexity, and here I'm just showing you some of the technologies like blockchain, metaverse, AI, and VR, some of the innovations in leadership like agility, like new people leadership, like the regenerative economy, and platforms, and then we have socioeconomic trends like the future of work, mobility, and health. And yes, with AI, you recognize, since it's a general purpose technology, that there's going to be some blurring with these other areas. But that there are several that are not recognized, and these are opportunities for leaders that want to shape the future. And I want to just give you some examples. And these are the areas that we are looking at 
in the upcoming book that will be published in May by Wiley. And these are some of the exciting areas that we are discussing in the book. We are looking at the blurring of the regenerative economy with digital platforms. Platform business models, you know, are the successful business model across all industries. So what does a regenerative economy and the blur with digital platforms look like in business and where are the opportunities for leaders? What does it mean for business models blurring with AI, but really not just offering a product of AI, but thinking like an AI native business. We don't have any such business yet. So this is about how it looks in the future. What is the blurring of the future of work and blockchain? So we're discussing trends around deconstructed and decentralized future of work. Again, another area that is not recognized at all. The convergence of data and AI in a healthcare context. This is more recognized, but we are diving into areas that have not uh, yet been in the spotlight. We are looking at how leaders that are interested in their people experiences, their employees, can use AR and VR to really change those experiences. And then last but not least, we're talking about the future in mobility blurring with the metaverse. So these are the kind of ideas of stretching your thinking, for, again, for leaders that want to see the world and shape it and, and lead it. And we're taking the angle of, of the opportunities, not of the risks, because obviously the risks have been discussed more than the opportunities, and we feel that this is important. The view overall is that our future is all about these future blurs, and the leaders that will recognize these future blurs are the ones that are going to shape the world. So now it's time to tell you who I am and who is my tribe with which I've co-authored this book. I'm Effie Pilarinu. I'm a global fintech thought leader or influencer looking into what are the trends and what are the innovations at different levels in financial services. And I'm a faculty in a startup that is online teaching live business leaders all around all these trends and technologies. So we are 12 experts, if you want, each in one domain. And we've coupled and written a chapter each to look at these blurs. The book will be published by Wiley in May, and it's on pre-order as, as we speak. I hope that this has stretched a bit your mind and that, and that you're not yawning <laughs> as it is uh, towards the end of the day. I'd again like to thank uh, Spandana and Philip for the opportunity. And if you have questions, I'm happy if there is time to answer any questions. Hi, thank you for that. That's super interesting, uh, thinking of how everything's kind of blurring a little bit. Uh, can you explain a little bit the difference between how the technologies are really blurring with the other industries as opposed to the industries not just utilizing those technologies? So let's say, you know, uh, the future of work utilizing VR or utilizing AR or AI. Yes, it, that's, a, that's a great uh, question. And, and in the, it's not only for that, because there is a transformative effect in the culture of the business processes, not only in, in, in the business, but also how to treat customers. And we are going to be seeing the effect in terms of, of the business models. So the technology itself, initially, we look, for example, at KPIs, you know, productivity gains 
and so on, right? You, with the example that you said of using AR, VR, for example, to train people. Then it's already been used in, I don't know, call centers or in manufacturing. Definitely in China that is already a reality. The question is how that changes the business culture and how that changes the business model. So we believe that there, there is a deeper transformative and adaptive effect that will take place. So it's not simply, it's a little bit like when a new technology comes out, you just see it as completing tasks, if you want, but then it goes beyond that. It affects behaviors and it creates uh, different types of thinking and opportunities. So I hope that answers. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Effie. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank yeah. you.